Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Oxygen Not Included. This is the Triple Printer Challenge. Now, in the last episode here, we were racing against hunger to try to get away from starving to death by eating ourselves into a grave. So, what we did is we planted a lot of mealwood and have continued to build more and more mealwood into the base, and so far, that plan is keeping us alive. <laughs> And that's the plan I'm going to stick with here, hopefully for the next five cycles. Hopefully we will not, you know, starve to death by the end of that. However, the biggest concern I have now is the amount of oxygen that I'm going to have in this base over the next couple of cycles. If you look at my algae reserves over there, it only has 4,000 kilograms left. Now I consume a fair amount of that per cycle. So I'm guessing that I really only have a few cycles of oxygen left. So I have to do something in order to bring in a lot more oxygen to this base. And the other thing is I kind of got to turn down the amount of algae that I'm using up so that I can mine it fast enough. So one of the things we covered in the la this last week or so was a power plant that runs off of electrolyzers. So that's what I have set up over here on the left. That should provide our base here with a little bit of power and hopefully some good, good oxygen you know, which is going to be very, very needed for this base. However, this unit alone will not be enough to supply all of the oxygen needed inside of this base. The other thing that we have here is the self-powering electrolyzer system. Again, this is not going to produce enough oxygen for all of my duplicates. However, hopefully the combined effort of everything that I have going on here will get me through to cycle 30. And if I can do that, then at least I've survived 30 cycles here with, you know, whatever, however many duplicates I end up with by then. We're going to see. It's a race against time. Uh, the other thing is I have to mine up as much algae as possible. Right here I have some algae. There's also some algae above that. And that's a fair amount of kilograms worth of algae that I can, I can dig up. So at least there's oxygen available to me within, you know, within a couple days' work, I guess, for a few duplicates. Down here is another decent reserve of algae. It has some chlorine, has some hydrogen around it. I could dig this out further and get all of the algae out of it, and that'd be pretty good. So somebody's job is to go down here and dig this up. So that means I should probably use a, a terrarium down here and make this a decent priority so that I can, I can have some oxygen and actually be effective down there. So I have to do a lot of mining and a lot of construction in these next few episodes here. So the first thing before we get going on, be, get going on all of this, is that I need to really understand who's doing what and what, you know, their priorities are for all of this stuff. Nom Nom is only doing digging. Harold is pretty much only going to do digging. Trivaldo is a runner. So Trivaldo here is going to be nothing but digging. Now I really need builders. Who's going to build? Otto is going to do nothing but deliver and build, which is a good combination. Bilu is doing all of the above. And Nicebet is also going to do all of the above. Hassan here which was just added to the base, and he's going to have that exact same. You're going to build and deliver. So hopefully between all of these duplicates and everybody else who has other op obligations, I'll have a really successful um, cycle here so I can actually survive. Let's see what happens. I've kind of done a little bit of pre-planning here in between episodes, just to let you know. Oh, and speaking of which, I've got my streaming stuff set up, so let's go ahead and get that working. Boom. If I turn that off and turn it back on, it might actually show up. Or maybe not. There we go. Let's see how that happens. Yeah. All right, so there we go. We've got some new subscribers that are coming in. I think this is actually pulling from a, a massive list of about the last week or so. So that'll actually be scrolling along there for a while. We'll see if we can make it to the end of the list. You guys have really been subscribing a lot here recently. I think the game's gone on sale on Steam, like extra sale, sale, 40% off or whatever. And if you haven't bought it already, this is a good time to get it because that's a good sale and the game's definitely worth it even if it is early access. So one of the other things I'm actually working on here, just to let you know, is I'm converting from outhouses to lavatories. Hopefully that will cut down on some of the germs that are starting to kind of show up around here a little bit. And I'll be able to, to also get a lot more polluted water out of that, which I can then uh, scrub out. So that'll be real good. So I've got some instructions to deconstruct here and we're gonna swap on over to toilets. 
So the priority on digging stuff up, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I really want to dig right down here, because this is important. The other area that I want to dig, because it's important, and is, is all of this. So we'll see what people do here. We'll see if it all works out. Oxygen inside the base is doing okay. Let's keep an eye on this algae, though. It's at 4,000 kilograms. Unreachable or something like that? What's going on here? Unreachable build. Okay, so I either need a ladder or something like that so I can get over there to build that chunk. For those of you guys that are curious, I just uploaded a video on Factorio. Actually, you guys showed a whole lot of support for that, which I was, I was quite surprised and pleased to, to see. The other thing is... I just finished recording an episode of RimWorld, so I'll be uploading that here pretty soon, you know, a day or two, and we'll kind of see. I'm going to try to see how both of those work. Factorio and RimWorld might end up uploading on the same days or whatnot. It's a crazy little schedule that I'm going to have to figure out and balance. I'll try to keep those series a little bit more simple than what we have going on here with Oxygen not included. This is still the main product on the channel, definitely, so we should see more. O and I content compared to that stuff. But here we go. Come on now. Let's build this stuff. So just to be more clear on that, I try to make three videos a week on Oxygen Not Included, hopefully about an experiment and hopefully about at least one of the two challenges, you know, each week. So roughly about, you know, three videos a week. Oxygen Not Included. And then hopefully we do a, a couple videos on either series as well. Again, if I keep them simple, it should be doable. So what do we have going on for liquid? Okay, looks like we've got polluted water piping in. And if we take a look at the germs, well, germs don't really matter, do they? At least in this situation. So long as we're not, ooh, we are putting food poisoning into the air because it's going through the electrolyzer. Maybe I don't want to do that. Interesting that food poisoning would get into the air that way. But when you use polluted water and it evaporates off, it doesn't give off food poisoning into the air. So what can I do? Well, so what can I do to fix this problem so that I don't just fill my base with germs, even though I would like to have the oxygen? You can see how much of it I need. I really need to treat this water, which right now the only way I know of to treat it is to heat it. Okay, so I'm going to have some liquid over here. This is just going to be clean water at some point. However, it's going to contain germs, so unless that doesn't contain germs, then I don't really want to mix the two. So let's not do that. A container over here that contains clean water, however germy, that would be a good idea to have over here. And then I could treat that once I unlock the next technology, which would allow me to heat it up. So that's liquid tuning down here. So I can oh my God, go all the way over there. That also means I need to run a higher cable or a higher watt cable. So there's two technologies that I need. I need liquid tuning and I need low resistance conductors if I really want to do that and do it well. How else can I get polluted water? All right, so here's what plan B is going to be. If we go over here like this, we can then bring liquid up into the base and pipe it to where I need it to go, which is going to be over here. And it will also be up there. So I'll just use the liquid reserve I have for right now so much building going on. That's crazy. Uh, we cannot take a break from food, though. Looks like we're still doing a good job of cooking. But we are running out of power. Oh, man! So many things we have to do! Awesome. All right, so we got some research complete. We can now pick the next thing. And now that I know exactly what I need, it should be a, a little bit easier to do. So, luckily, power is on the menu. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. Hopefully my duplicates are doing a decent job of trying to get over here. I think I might crank up the priority on this stuff. Seven. Make it happen. Stuff here is also seven. Oh boy. Running out of priorities again. <laughs> How much algae do I have? 3,300. So I get like three cycles of oxygen. Y'all better dig this quick. I'm just saying. That's going to... You gotta dig fast. Here we go. There's a little bit more algae right there. Not much, but a little bit. It all matters at this point. I'm not sure, guys. This is feeling like it's getting quite difficult. Like, 
this, this might be it. I might not survive the next few cycles. Okay, so we can see the germs over here. It has loads and loads of food poisoning in it. So we don't want to suck up water from over here. Hopefully they don't. Okay, so that is now complete. Lucky me. I'm going to go ahead and put a airlock over here, a little door or whatever. They're still calling that thing an airlock. It's just a door. Put that on a nice high priority and not allow people to go in there until these germs die off. So the liquid I can move over there, which I will do now, is going to be just deconstruct these liquid pipes because I don't need them anymore. And this one as well. And then do that number so it does what it needs to do. And so on and so forth. I'll re-enable these to at least offset some of this oxygen production. Now I just need to cap this off so that it becomes, you know, exactly what it needs to be what it needs to be now i need a little bit of a ladder down here so i can get to that liquid pump and we'll that'll be set up so that's all good Whew. good we're past that another thing i might want to set up here is just using up some of my coal reserves if we look at that i have 31.4 tons of it and i can go ahead and run that into like a i don't need to run it into a super compressor i just need an airlock which i don't really have so i can i could pump the uh, carbon dioxide away from the coal generator so that I could just get power out of it pump it around my base and that would free up some duplicates from the manual generators however however I'm going to have hydrogen generators running as well but <laughs> you get the idea <laughs> okay so that's the first cycle down what's my algae oh look I'm up to 5.4 tons so I must have been able to get up to I must have been able to get down here and dig that up. Whew. All right, good deal. So here's what I'm going to do. So I don't lose this stuff, you know, as it falls down or whatever. I need to dig down. So I have to have a ladder here and then have some sort of floor so that I can catch that material as it falls. So the nice high priority like that. I don't know why I'm making this stuff out of sandstone, but I am mildly decorative, whatever. No big deal. Here's another cold biome, by the way. So, some more wheeze warts here. Also, I can get a lot of liquid out of this with ice if I bring it up and let it melt. That's a good idea. I might just do that. I've never once used ice for the sole purpose of adding more water to my base, but... Alrighty, one cycle down, four to go. Let's keep at it. If I use plumbing, I still want to use the toilets. I think that's a good way to go. Clean water in, bad water out. Oh, I should have a, I should have a little valve or something on this, a liquid valve that I can turn on, right? So as this is coming back out, you know, the clean water is coming back out, I can control how much of that goes up into the storage tank because when you're using a toilet, it increases the amount of liquid that's running through it because the duplicates are adding some to it with their extreting extra liquid, I guess, is a good way of putting it. Sweet, that research is going fast. So we've got the power transformer now, very good. Heavy watt wires, very, very good. So we're working on the low resistance conductors. And then we'll come down here and we'll try to get that. There's a good chance I'll be able to get all of that done here if I survive the next few cycles. We're about... Who's making a mess, and why are you making a mess? Ari, the entombed! Come on now! Ah, oh, boy. I don't have enough toilets around, do I? Down here, that's bad. <laughs> Everything that I need to build is priority level 6. Like, it's just... It isn't going down. I can't build stuff fast enough. Oh, but we're trying. We're trying hard. So we've got polluted ice, and then we have ice. The polluted ice is what I don't want. But if I just open this up, I should be able to go down there, just dig it out very, very quickly, and then bring it up to a storage compactor and let it melt. Potentially, I could put those storage compactors, I could put them right near the electrolyzers. This stuff right here can safely be digged up. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No! Turner! Dude, you're peeing. Oh, no. 
in the water source. Darn it, that's what I didn't want to happen. So now if we take a look at the germs, what do we have? Food poisoning. Oh, come on. Now Abe's doing it too. Why do you guys gotta do this to me? Well, now I've got nothing but a source of food poisoning everywhere, so hopefully it isn't too much for my duplicates to handle. Till then, I'm going to change that tile so that it can never happen again. Oh my gosh, build this already. Priority level seven. It's because these bathrooms, they're queued up by somebody else so they don't ever like run over there. So now all of my duplicates are, are making a mess at the exact same time, it's a flood. All right, I'm solving my toilet problem once and for all. Get all these duplicates over there. Take care of this crap. I'm tired of that. Making a mess on everything. It's horrible. Just get it built, make it happen, or go to sleep. Fine. Bunch of quitters. All right, well, I at least survived another cycle. So far, my duplicates are not experiencing you know, sickness at this point, even though I do have some food poisoning in the water. It is starting to go down because, you know, germs die. Change per cycle, a little bit, I guess. It's barely going down. Mm, oh, well. All right, there we go. Bunch of toilets all set up and ready to go. And that should work to reduce this, the amount of polluted water I have down here. So hopefully that, I can dig down there and get some of this algae, right? Because I don't have germs. I just have polluted water down there. We'll crank that up. We'll try to pump that liquid out of there so I can at least dig up the algae. So I've completed the low resistance conductors. Now I've got to work towards aqua, uh, liquid tuning. So research is on a roll, so that's good. Now nobody's idle. So that's doing all right. And the amount of algae I have is up to six tons. So I've been able to increase that. It's a lot of work to kind of dig up the rest of this stuff, but luckily it's not too far away. And there also is gold amalgam over here. So this is a good, good spot to come over here and dig that up once I need a lot of gold amalgam, not to mention iron ores in there as well. Okay, so finally we got the liquid up and running. So the liquid will now find its way over the, to these electrolyzers. And this should power up. I'm also filtering out a lot of that water there, so the polluted water is, you know, going down, I think, at around three kilograms a second or so. That's how fast that thing will work. However, in the next 30 seconds, I'm going to get more duplicates. Three more, to be precise, bringing me up to a grand total of 30. <sighs> Just when I was starting to catch up with the food, I'm probably going to be behind yet again. The oxygen that I need, no matter what I try. Look at this, I just can't catch up to it. <sighs> I'm trying, guys. I'm working so hard. Okay, so I do have conductive wires, though, so I can finally start to connect some of these power plants together and then actually run them off of things like the hydrogen generator and the coal generator. In order to do that, I need to refine a lot of the metal that I'm digging up, which means the only machine I have available to, to do that is the rock granulator, which is not the most efficient way to take care of this stuff, but when you got to do it, you got to do it. And right now, that's what I got to do. So go up here and then dig out some more iron, and we'll try to convert some of these wires into something that's a little bit more useful. Okay, okay, so here we go. Mm -hmm. Destructive, destructive, ugly crier. All right, I'm going to bring in Niles here. Seems like the best duplicate I have. Food quality is low. Decor expectations is low. Stress response, ugly crier, not, not bad at all. Welcome to the base. And we have Ellie and another Mima. What is up, me? This is... Meep has left the building. He's not here at all. All right, let's see if I got any duplicate duplicates. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, we have two Burt's. I guess we've had two Burt's for a while. Time to head on over to Patreon here and find ourselves somebody to replace Burt. Burt, you are now problematic. Here we go. 
Let's see here. Who else? We have two Ellie's. Yeah, because I just got a new one here. So the technician. You do. Ellie, you are now named Nefe. Thank you for supporting the channel, by the way. Jonas, Lindsay. May the slowpoke. I wonder how fast she is now. Well, she's not fast at all because all she does is cook all day. Look at this. No, no other duplicate duplicates. How about that? But also no meeps. What's up with this? And this is why the base is doomed. If we can't get a meep, we might as well just quit. Oh, man. Now how much oxygen do I need? Uh, look at that. I was within like 40 kilograms of, of having enough oxygen, but no. Nope. Same with food. I was right there. But now I'm behind. And half my mealwood isn't grown because people keep farting next to it. I don't know how I'm going to make it, guys. Look at this. Look, somebody came down here and just and peed up this whole area because why not? At least I got some oxygen. There we go. We'll start pumping a little bit there. Get that hydrogen generator up and running. Try to purify the oxygen out of this area. I think 600 is a good way to go. So, so many duplicates. And they all have a bed. If I haven't accomplished any, you know, I feel like I at least accomplished something with that. And here's the first chunk of hydrogen. Boom. Perfect. And it's running throughout the night. Ha! I had such good high hopes for this area over here. Now we haven't looked at it forever. Like there's nothing going on over there. This down here, here's another good opportunity. Nope. Not going to touch that one. I don't know. I think the ice might actually be a good idea. I've got a decent feeling about it. Ooh, research complete. What did we get this time? Ah, uh, just a liquid sensor. All right, I got to get rid of one of these. All oh, my duplicates still keep using the outhouse, and I don't need that. For the most part, the stress is actually staying very, very low. We're at 5%. The immunity system here, only Jonas is having any problem at all. So even though I do have a little bit of polluted water, you know, in the wa in my watering source. It doesn't seem to be affecting my duplicates too bad. If you look at the germs, for the most part, it's actually quite a bit cleaner. I think uh, swapping over here to lavatories instead of the outhouses made a pretty big difference. Gosh, look at what's in that storage compactor. That is the storage compactor from hell. Look at that thing. Anyhow, so there is some progress being made. It looks like the farm, we keep planting more and more mealwood, so that's good. No, if any other progress is happening down here. The algae, gosh darn it, we're back down to 4,000. I keep trying to stay ahead of that. So one of the things I'm going to do for right now is I'm just going to plug this power into the other electrolyzer so that it's all self-powering together. So that means the hydrogen that I'm going to be pumping out of here will also run... It'll, it'll run in over here as well. Okay, so I dug up that algae. Where else can I dig up algae without getting super sick? Mm, maybe right here. The one nice thing between whatever I do over here and beyond it is that it looks like I might have a natural hydrogen like gas lock in this area. So the germs may not be able to flow from over here out via the gases. And it's also a warmer temperature, too, so they should die off. If I get desperate enough and I don't have any sort of control, I think this is where I'm going to dig very, very quickly in order to get more of this algae. Another thing I talked about in one of my videos was using polluted water as like a floor tile, which I just don't have space for it right now because I never planned for it to begin with. But if I was using like floor tiles or something like this, just mesh tiles with a floor underneath it, I could keep polluted water at floor level throughout my base. And then that would be giving off polluted oxygen, which I could then, you know, in this case, convert that into clean oxygen. It's not very efficient at all when you're actually talking about refining that because you have to use a, a deodorizer, which is not, not at all very effective. I mean, it is effective, producing a little bit more oxygen. However, it, it uses up a lot of sand. Not that I'm, you know, limited on sand, right? Because Harold down here is just like smashing this up, so I'm making more and more of it. Some of the problems I'm having here is 
it's all because of the crazy challenge I got going on. It's just ridiculous. So there used to be a time way back where you could actually plant the mealwood on a uh, farm tile and then actually put the planter box on top of that. You could actually stack up the plants. It was kind of cool. It was, I don't think it works anymore though. Unrefrigerated. What does it contain? Oh, meal ice. Okay. Maybe I have enough meal ice considering I have kilograms and kilograms worth of it. Hmm. Let's take a look at the consumables real quick. Available, I have 27,000 calories. So that's pretty good. So I think at this point, what I might want to do to save a little bit of food is I might actually go ahead and enable some of these people that have lower expectations for food. Nobody has like absolutely horrible expectations, but I could at least feed them or give them the option of meal ice. Or I could just not do that. So these electrolyzers are now up and running. And what we can see here is for the first time in a long time, I am actually making more oxygen than what my duplicates are saying they're consuming. So that's good. All I got to do here is finish off the construction of the, you know, the top of this unit and then the automation sequence down here. And then that will be able to run as a super compressor and I'll be able to get, you know, power and oxygen out of this thing. Right now I'm getting oxygen, which is good. Of course, the hydrogen's just kind of floating away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable one of these and try to reduce the amount of algae I'm burning up. Maybe I'll disable two of them. I don't know. That's quite a, quite a lot that I'm turning off, but we'll see what happens. I'm doing a little work down here just to make sure that this pump gets down to the bottom where it needs to be so that I can I can make use of what water is left here. That pump be too high, but I needed it to turn on just so I can kind of get things up and moving. So we'll do that number just so it's prepared, right? So once this runs out, just trying to keep ahead of the game. Mm, looks like I need to go through the advanced automation as well in order to turn that into a super compressor because I thought I already had that stuff unlocked but I don't I don't have all the gate switches or the gates figured out yet so much to do look at this food 42,000 calories alrighty and the research has completed awesome so once I have enough wires I guess I can actually uh, go over there and heat it up it takes a lot of power to do so but that will then purify that water so I can make use of it elsewhere. So if I kind of bring the polluted water in at top, hopefully by the time it gets to the bottom, the germs will be dead. Maybe. I don't know. I've never really messed around with that. I mean, look at the germs, though. 1.7 million food poisoning germs right there. That's a lot of germs. Ah, oh, one last door, and then that is done. Just got to replace that ladder, and then this thing can go and attempt to run. I mean, it's not going to right now, but we'll get there. I'm just going to set all of these to open, and hopefully I can reach all of them. Ah, it looks like I can. Looks like everything's working out pretty good. What about decor? Hmm, this is too big now. That's what's going on up here. Okay, so the decor in this area is kind of bad. Okay. But there's other areas where it's really good. <laughs> so there's definitely some work I got to do on the more artistic front here to keep the decor up. One of the good challenges I heard here was trying to play the game with, like, terrible decor. I like a massive stress base. I've never done a deliberately bad decor base. I have made mistakes where I've had really bad decor, but... I've never done it quite on purpose. Let's go ahead and take that, bring that up a little bit. Time to build that. Let's go ahead and build some right there. Could really use some nice decor in this area. Like everywhere could use some better decor. <laughs> I might just carpet bomb this area with just pictures. There you go. Take that. You know what? I think I messed up on this uh, self-powering hydrogen thing. I don't have enough tiles up here, so I'm getting oxygen where I don't want it to be. That needs to be up there like that. You know what's encouraging? I turned off two algae deoxidizers, and I'm 
I'm still, it sounds like I still have more oxygen than I need. So let's go ahead and try to disable another one. Or how about two more? The last thing I need to do over here is kind of close this hydrogen area off so that it's kind of like that. And I think that also means I could leave this open. Maybe not. Maybe I don't want to. Oh, no, 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 no. Cancel that. This is what I wanted. There we go. Much better. Alrighty, well, I made it to the end of cycle 29. Oh, I got enough food, and I've got a little oxygen left to breathe. So we survived for another episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Let me know down there in the comment section below if you got some ideas for me and all of that good stuff. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again next time. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.